What's going on contenders? A lot of you are going to have your first fight coming up and it's one thing to be prepared conditioning wise. It's one thing to be prepared technically, but you want to prepare mentally for all the different aspects and things that can go down in the fight. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips and ways to make sure that you get through your fight and hopefully you get the W. Okay, first thing, first rule. You don't want to get into exchanges. The opponent is going to come at you, maybe throwing, maybe pressuring, or you're going to start to throw and they're going to start to throw at you. You don't want to get into exchanges. First rule is this. When your opponent is punching, you're moving. When your opponent is not punching, you're punching. So when you're in the exchange, you're looking to set up your offense, okay? But then you're moving. If your opponent is coming towards you and you're not going to throw something, then you're moving, looking at defense, okay? When it's your turn, you settle in, right? Boom, boom, okay? And you start to go with your combo. But what you don't want is when your opponent comes at you and then as soon as they come at you, you start to get into a punch brawl with them. This is the worst thing that you can do. When they start to attack, here they go, you move. Okay, get out of there. All right, then it's your turn. Okay, you move. All right, when they come in, you move. When they're not punching, you're punching. That's the first rule, do not get into exchanges. All right, part two of part one. When they're punching and you move, you do not want to get in the habit of moving straight back. You see when a lot of people get caught, they start doing this, okay? And then somehow they back themselves up to the ropes or back themselves into a corner. Here, okay, pick it up. Pick up that footwork. You have to train for this, okay? You do not want to let your opponent line you up, all right? Here, when you are going to attack, then you can settle in, okay? And maybe if they go before you, you move, all right? Pick a direction. You're going left and right. If you go to your right, you're taking away your opponent's right hand. If you go to your left, okay, you're taking away your opponent's left hand. Also, since you know the direction you're going, they're going to want to hit you that way you can block. So if I'm going to my right, they might want to hit me with a left hook, okay? Then here, I just bring the hand up. Here, as I go. Or if I go this way, they want to hit me with the right hand. Okay, I just bring this hand up as I go, right? I cut off half the offense by moving in a certain direction. When they're punching and they're coming at you, pick a direction. What you don't want to get into is this. Okay, that's the worst thing you can do. You're on your rhythm, okay? Maybe you're faking, maybe you're about to go. Okay, you want to get away for whatever reason, pick a direction, okay? You can always switch. Keep that foot in front. You can always switch directions, all right? But you got to work on this. You got to work on this in uh, training. You want to imagine that you are an opposing magnet to your opponent. When they come at you, you start to go one way or other. You don't want to be an attracting magnet. You know what I mean? Opposing magnet and all of a sudden they're pushing you away, right? Do not let them line you straight up, okay? They're going to walk in and then ha, bah, okay, and set you up with whatever and then all you've got is your head moving to your defense. Pick a direction, even if it's just a little bit. Here, here, switch it. Here, I'm moving this way. Fine, if they punch me with the right hand, I'm fading away from it. Right? If they hook me with the left, okay, I block it or I go under it. Right? You pick a direction when you're not in the exchange, when you're not attacking and you're on the defense, do not go straight back. Do not let your opponent line you up. You pick a direction left or right. Keep that left leg in front in your ready stance. When you're ready to attack, then you can always switch it up and go back at them. All right, number three, get your ass to the seat so that your coach can give you some advice. Make it through that first round, especially if it's your first fight. I want you to win, but it doesn't have to be a win. In other words, you don't have to win the first round, all right? I want you to get back to that seat so that your coach can give you adjustments. Your coach can tell you what you're doing well, what you're not doing well. Sometimes you gotta get warmed up into the fight. A lot of times, it took me until maybe the second, third or fourth round before I'm warmed up, before I'm really getting going forward, I start to discover what's going on with this opponent and with me. So when you're there, okay, and it's that first round, you don't have to go out and win it for the crowd. You got the second round, you got the third round, and you got the fourth round too. Sometimes these fights can be long. Get back to the stool. Get back there. So make it through that first round. Whatever you do, okay, hands up, moving. Maybe you're safe, working the jab, working short combos, okay? You don't have to go all out there and knock someone out in the first round. Get back to the stool. Your coach is gonna say, okay, I need you putting a little more heat on him. I need you moving your hand after you punch. I need you working the jab high, working the jab low. Take a little bit of that advice and then get out there and apply it. And you're gonna see the second and third round, you really get warmed up. You get in the rounds, get lots of experience. That's gonna help you more for your second, third, and fourth fights 
as you go. Better to do that than just have one big one fight blowout and then never box again. All right, number four, have some preset combos in advance, no matter how simple they are. Because sometimes you work, if you have one or two combos, your opponent figures them out, you got nothing else. At least some level changes. So here, okay, we got one, two. Okay, you're gonna work that. All right, there, you're in front of someone, bam, bam. Okay, you got variations off the right hand. Overhand right, here, okay. One, two to the body. All right, then you got the hook, bam, bam. All right, one, two, three. All right, then you got the fake hook. All right, you gotta have a whole bunch of different stuff here. Fake, overhand, fake, shovel hook to the body. You have to have at least a few different things in your arsenal. Doesn't mean that you have to start going through them like a Rolodex, like, okay, what's combo number six, right? And it's not like it has to be like that. You wanna have so many or a bunch in your arsenal that you can just call upon them when you're ready. So let's say you're working, okay. Go into the body, the opponent is picking up and they're picking up on that. Okay, well, maybe you need something else. Boom. Hook up top, okay? Or maybe, they're pressuring you and you're on the inside. You need some different stuff on the inside. You need a small library of combos for different situations. You have to have them so down in your mind that it's almost like you don't have to use your memory to recall them. And they don't have to be fancy. Simple, they start. One, two, one, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, seven. One, one. Overhand right, jab, here, fake, hook, body. All right, just a bunch of little ones. Different styles to work, so you have different things in your game plan, and you know, just so that you're, you're not predictable, your opponent's gonna read you, and then you're out of luck after that. All right, number five. This happens a lot. Opponents come out first 30, 45 seconds storming you. They come out you like crazy. My coach used to call it going through the eye of the storm. They're gonna come out swinging and blazing. You know, ah, you, you're gonna maybe try to get them, they're gonna bam, throw a big right hand at you. The first 30 to 45 seconds, it, it happened to me a lot. You have this thought that goes, oh man, I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be here right now. And it's usually in the first minute. You think, ah, oh. and then in a way, your mind starts looking for a way out. You may, because there's a lot of people who lose, but they didn't have to lose. Maybe they kind of quit, or they backed down, or they started slacking because they didn't wanna be there. And just know that when you get somebody who comes out blazing, that's gonna cross your mind and you have to be ready to combat that thought. You have to be ready for the thought that your mind's gonna say, hey, I wanna quit. But I'm gonna tell you, if you can overcome that thought, you're gonna be, you're gonna see the horizon. There's new possibilities on the other side. So you have to decide that once that thought comes or once you're feeling, I don't wanna be here, you gotta do what you can to get into the fight. As my coach used to say, get into the fight. So that may mean gritting your teeth and just suddenly ah, 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 going at it just for a few seconds, just to kind of assert your will and get in there. Or you get in the clinch and you don't want to be in the clinch. Ah, ah, and you fight your way out of it. You gotta, only, you gotta almost have the eye of the tiger, to be honest. You gotta get your mind to switch. All right, get your mind to switch to go a little bit into that aggressive mode. Or just stay calm, okay? And know that once this opponent keeps doing the swingy, crazy stuff that Within a minute or so, they're gonna be done. This game plan is gonna be over. But that first minute, that first couple minutes of the first round is often when you're gonna get intimidated, you're gonna to wanna to quit, and it's very easy to decide that you wanna quit. And then from then on in, you sort of box half-heartedly and throw, you sort of throw the mat. So be prepared to battle that thought because almost everybody, no matter how much training they've done, when they get into the fight, that thought will happen to them, especially if you get an aggressive opponent. So be ready to combat your own mind. That's gonna be your biggest weakness in a lot of fights. All right, next one. On the conditioning side, it's so important. With all the plan in the world, if you haven't done the conditioning going into the fight, then you're not ready. It doesn't matter what I tell you or what you know here. You need that sparring and you need fast sparring. So what I mean is when you're in there, okay, you don't have to bang your opponent. Okay, your sparring partner. You don't have to bang your sparring partner. You don't want that kind of sparring, but you want weeks and rounds of fast sparring and speed on the bag, at least in the four weeks leading up to the fight. You want to start to work your speed, your top speed. You want to be quick. All right, whatever it is, whatever your level is, okay, you start to work that. Okay, you start to work your speed in the sparring too, instead of here. Ah, boom, right? You're there. Ah, 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 ah. Okay? Ah, 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 ah. Okay, start to work that speed. Get your body used to that threshold. Get your body used to that. Once you get into the match, you're gonna call upon 
all the speed you need. You're going to call upon it then. And once you get in that third, fourth round, you're going to be gassed if you haven't gotten used to that threshold. So when you're there, in your training, you're sparring, get used to working that speed because you're going to need it. If you've been training medium pace, if you've been training like that, four weeks leading up to the fight in the sparring, you need to get that speed threshold up. So this is where you're going to push it. All right, last piece of advice. Make sure you are comfortable and know what you're getting into on fight day. No surprises. Don't eat anything too different from what you've normally been eating. Whatever you've been eating, stick generally to that. Don't try on new trunks that day for the first time. If you're going to wear new trunks, make sure that you've already worn them at least a couple times. Shoes. If you're wearing your boxing ring shoes, maybe you're wearing different shoes, you want to spar in them a few times. You want to spar pretty much in your fight gear. Maybe the shirt, okay, maybe the shirt isn't really a big deal because sometimes you got a blue and a red shirt that maybe you haven't worn. That's not a big deal. Headgear. Often in the, in the amateur competitions, the headgear is more open. So if you're used to like a closed Mexican style headgear and suddenly you wear this open one, you're going to feel very naked. You're also going to have 10 ounce gloves on too as well. 10, yeah, you're also going to have 10 ounce gloves on too. So you've been with 16s all the time. Suddenly you get on the 10s, you, you might overthrow because they're so light. <laughs> Right? You're used to this. So things on fight day can get weird if you haven't done it. And you might feel a little bit out of place, a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit bare is kind of the way to describe it. So trunks, shoes, the cup, the cup that you wear underneath. Try that on and spar in it a couple times. Don't have some new cup show up that day and then it's kind of riding you like this. No surprises. Mouth guard. Right? Don't put in some new surprise mouth guard that is falling out of your mouth. Same mouth guard that you're sparring with. Uh, try on the headgear. All right, the, the gloves are going to be at the table. They won't be your gloves. They'll be 10-ounce gloves, but at least you want to try a little bit of work on the bag and a little bit of training with these lighter gloves just to get a feel for it. So headgear, mouth guard, cup, shoes, trunks, everything you can. Socks. You know, no surprises on that day where suddenly something's riding you or you're uncomfortable or you feel bare. You don't want to really be mentally out of the zone. You want to feel like, okay, everything is just how it was in your sparring and training, and really get yourself into that mindset. All right, bonus tip. I forgot about this one. You're going to get the nerves. You're going to get scared. That's, that's how it happens for most people. You get the fear. You get the nerves. Most of the time, it happens very rarely did it not happen. What you want to do is you just want to focus your mind on what you are going to do. Try not to get into too much thinking about what the opponent is going to do to you. So when I used to get nervous, I used to get up and just think, okay, what am I going to do? All right. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. All right. I'm going to move. Okay. There they go. All right. I just would get into what am I going to do? What's my game plan? You know, surely I'm going to visualize the opponent in front of me and they're doing something, but I'm not really overly concerned about what they're doing. I'm concerned about what I'm doing in relation to them. How am I going to block and defend when they do that? See yourself successfully doing it. When you go out there, you know, see yourself, bam, 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 moving off, landing the shots, okay? You're going to get nervous. You're going to feel scared. You're going to feel scared right up to the bell, maybe the first 30 seconds. Who knows, all right? Think about what you're going to do. Focus on what you're going to do. Play it out. All right, get in your mind about you. This is your time. This is your time to do what you got to do. Win, lose, or draw, you still want to put on your best performance. You still want to go out there and give it your all. So... When you get those feelings and they're going to happen, don't worry that they're happening. They're supposed to happen. That's energy for you. That's energy on your side. Channel your mind into what are you going to do. And that comes all down to the preparation that you've done before, which you should have been doing. And then you can just get your mind and really start to focus on that. All right, you guys. A first fight is a big deal. It's no joke. You want to be ready for it. Not just in terms of techniques and tactics and what your coach is showing you, but mentally. All the things that can go down. You want to be mentally ready so you can give it your best performance. Hopefully these tips, you can apply them in your training and on fight day, and hopefully you get the W. All righty, guys. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.